As you may have noticed, Google AdWords platform has two different versions to it. There's Google AdWords Express, and then there's also the normal AdWords version. They call it expert mode. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the difference between Google AdWords Express versus Google AdWords, just the normal version. We're gonna be talking about what is AdWords Express, the benefits of using Express versus Google AdWords, the normal version, as well as how to switch over to the normal version if you desire to. So without further ado, let's jump into the content right here. So Google AdWords Express is the simple version of AdWords and you can log into it at the same location that you would for a normal AdWords account. You can log in at ads.google.com or you can sign up here as well. And once you hit the sign up, it's gonna automatically direct you to a page like this and it's gonna push you through the setup of your Express account. Now look at the bottom there, you can actually see a link that has the option of skipping this entire process and going straight to expert mode. Um, this is the normal version of AdWords. Just note that if you skip this process and go to expert mode, then you can't actually go backwards. You can't revert to an AdWords Express account, but you can always change your Express into a normal account later on. So for now, let's just go through the process of the setup and not switch over. The first step of the Express setup is gonna ask for the goal of your campaign. So this could be phone calls to your business, website visits and signups on your website, or actual physical location visits. So just select whichever one applies most to your needs and click next. Next step is gonna ask for your business information and you just click the plus button and you can add in information such as your business name, the location, your phone number, your email, etc. I've set one up for this example right here and all you gotta do is click that and it will move you to the next step. The next step is gonna show you targeting options. At the very top, you can set whether you wanna do radius or specific location. Um, you can also change the radius here and see how much that's gonna change your potential audience size in the top right corner there. And this is just potential population, not necessarily people searching. Let's click next. On this page, we have the different services that you can target. It's got some automatically in there, but also suggestions and you can add in different products or services by just typing them in specifically. And it will give you a list of categories that you can choose from that are just pre-made. Um, and you can click these to add them into what you wanna target your ads on. So these are the searches that people are gonna be looking for, emergency roofing, roof installation, replacement, all these different services. So whatever is relevant to you, click next and it's gonna bring us to the ad portion of this. I went ahead and wrote these ads here just for an example. You got headline one, headline two, and a description. On the right hand side, you can see the preview. And then right here, you can actually see some help from Google on how to write your ads. At the bottom, you can see write another ad. So if you want more than one, which I would recommend. Um, and then your URL of your website. Let's click next. And this is the preview right here. And you can actually link to where you want your click to call to go to. This is an ad extension that allows people to click it on a mobile device, the ad itself, not even go to your website and go straight to your phone. These will also whisper to you and you can hear what that would sound like by clicking this. On the next page is where you can set your budget. It's gonna give you some pre-made options here. These options are gonna show you your average daily spend as well as your max monthly spend, as well as estimated clicks per month. Instead, you could choose to do a custom budget by clicking this and then adjusting appropriately. And the highlighted part is gonna be where the averages fall, but if you do it less, then it doesn't matter. You'll just get a warning. So let's leave it at this for now. The next page is gonna be a summary of your campaign so far. You're almost to the end here. It's gonna show you estimated um, impressions as well as clicks, your goal, location, the ad, your services, products, your budget, etc. Let's just click next, go to the next step here. And this is gonna be your card information. So just plug in your card information. And if you have a promotional code, you can put that in there too. You might have got it in the mail. You may through email as well pretty soon, but either way, I'm not gonna show this on screen. So I'm gonna plug this in and go to the next step and show you what that looks like. So you're completely finished with the AdWords Express setup and what you're seeing here is the dashboard for Express. It's gonna show you different metrics, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna turn off this campaign and you can do so by clicking this option right here and clicking pause. Um, what I'm gonna do is click accept and then it's gonna ask for feedback. I'm just gonna exit out of this. And instead what I wanna do is show you guys real quick how to change from Express to the normal AdWords 
dashboard and you can do so by clicking this up here and then doing switch to expert mode. I highly suggest everybody does this. Um, as you'll see in a moment, we're gonna talk about the benefits of doing so, but for now, let's just see how this changes your dashboard. Keep in mind that you're still gonna be able to edit your smart campaign. It will still be active if you want it to be. It's gonna be shown in a different dashboard display here though. Um, as this loads, you'll see at the bottom right there, your smart campaigns right there, and you can click out on the side panel and see all your smart campaigns listed there as well. If you wanna create a normal campaign, you just click this blue button and there you go. So I went ahead and made an example campaign to help explain the differences between Google AdWords Express and a normal AdWords. Right away, you can see that this has a different icon. This is a smart campaign from AdWords Express, and this is a custom one from normal AdWords. Don't get overwhelmed with all the customizations that we're gonna talk about, the differences, because at the end of this video, I'm gonna summarize everything and give my suggestions on what I would suggest you do when it comes to changing over or staying with Express. For now, let's just jump into the custom campaign and you'll see different ad groups. And ad groups are groups of ads with associated keywords. So heavy duty towing, this is only gonna have heavy duty towing keywords in it. And the ads themselves are gonna specifically mention that we provide heavy duty towing services. And this is uh, relative to this ad down here, which is gonna specify battery jumping and the keywords are only battery jumping. The value in doing this is these services have totally different intents behind them and you wanna write ads specific to them because you're gonna get higher click-through rates and better performance all around. With Google AdWords Express, you just throw everything into one and you write generic ads. So this is gonna hinder your account performance. Um, the other thing to note is that you can set bids uh, based on the category of keywords themselves. You can't do this in Express. And you may find that heavy duty towing produces higher quality leads, more revenue for your business, which would make sense as compared to battery jumping, in which case you would spend more on a bid for this than you would relative here. Uh, you can't do that in Express once again. So another difference is gonna be, uh, you can track conversions based off the different categories. So you can say this category is producing the most conversions at the lowest cost per conversion. Maybe I'm gonna put more money towards this. Maybe I'm just gonna shut this one off. Maybe I'll reduce this bit a little bit. And that's way, that way you can allocate your budget to what's working and what's not, and that's optimization. That's budget allocation. And you can't do that with Express. You can't even optimize Express other than changing the keywords that you're targeting. Speaking of keywords and targeting, we'll click into towing services, and you can see all these different keywords down here. These are called match types and there's symbols that you can put on your keywords with a custom campaign that will allow you to target your ads only on searches that people are making that are relevant to your services. So for example, with Google AdWords Express, they target on broad match keywords right here, and broad match keywords are telling Google that you want to show your ads for any search that's anywhere relevant to towing companies. So this could be uh, towing trucks for sale, this could be towing companies hiring, this could be your competitors, so like Mike's Towing. So a bunch of irrelevant clicks are gonna to come to your ads because they're showing to people that aren't even looking for your services. But with these different match types, you can specify precisely who you wanna to show to, and that's a huge benefit with a custom campaign. So let's jump over to your Towing campaign and go to Settings. And I've already changed some of these settings, but I'll show you what it was for default. So on the different networks, by default, it's on search network and display. Search network is gonna be websites such as like ask.com, so like other search engines. Display network is gonna be uh, different websites around the web. But for the most part, Google AdWords Express is gonna probably be showing you on these as well. For the most part, most local businesses, these never perform well. They're not relevant to your business. Nobody's going on a different website and is going to hire you from there. So with a custom campaign, you can turn those off. With AdWords Express, it's just gonna show you that and it's not gonna tell you that it's showing people your ads on different websites. The other thing that AdWords Express is gonna be on is people in or who show interest in your target location. So this means your ads could theoretically be showing to people in different states and different countries. Um, whereas with a custom campaign, you can choose only people located in your location. Other thing we wanna look at is the keywords once again, and just as important as the positive keywords are the negative keywords. So you can place keywords in here such as 
uh, for sale because someone's going to be looking for tow trucks for sale or hiring or jobs whereas you can't do this with express so when you put in negative keywords you can negate pretty much anything irrelevant to your searches so you can ensure that the clicks that you are getting are only useful for your business they're only relevant um, let's look at conversions right now so if we go to conversions tab here and I'm gonna jump over real quick to Google AdWords Express Express does not measure conversions necessarily it just says like verified phone calls and as you can see here there's like 15 second phone calls these aren't quality leads for your business and they hide a lot of information in this way because they don't care about quality they just want volume so with the normal AdWords what you can do is set up custom conversions where you go to phone calls you can say calls from ads using extensions just like we did with Express but you can change the call length duration to say only measure conversions when they're er they're over a certain call duration here so 60 seconds 90 seconds two minutes whatever that's important the last thing that I want to talk about is the search terms report search terms report you won't see any information right here because my campaign is not on and getting data and clicks but as you get clicks to each of these ad groups and the keywords in them you're going to be able to see precisely what people searched in Google AdWords before clicking your ads and this is super important for optimizing your campaign you just can't do this in AdWords Express and this is vitally important because you can also see negative keywords to add into this tab right here so those are the major differences between Express and AdWords and just to summarize this entire thing I want to say that Google AdWords their incentives are misaligned with their advertisers because Google AdWords makes more money when your ads get more clicks they don't care about quality of course as you can see there they're just showing you uh, verified calls they don't care about showing you any of the information and they don't care about giving you any of the control so that's what happens when you invest in Express you hand over all your control all of your your site into what's actually happening for the sake of ease but what I suggest doing for everyone watching this video is to switch over to the expert mode because it's not that hard it's funny how they call it the expert mode but all I would suggest doing is setting up a custom campaign and just go to the video that I linked below in the description It's going to show you exactly how to do that and it's not that hard this is going to set you up for the future as well you're going to get better performance and if you do decide to hire someone else then they're going to actually be able to work off of what you've already got if you have an AdWords Express campaign you're going to have to start from scratch so hopefully this was valuable. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe for more videos just like this. And uh, until then, guys, cheers.